Now we can post-process the cell center values of the primary unknowns to produce useful visualizations. Instead of double-clicking on results in the workbench window, we will double-click solution to reopen Fluent. Post-processing can be performed inside the Fluent interface. The results step instead uses CFD post, an alternative and older post-processor. With Fluent open, we want to visualize the pressure and velocity fields in the flow domain. This can be achieved with contour plots. From the Results tab, select Contours and click New. In the new pop-up window, name this Velocity Contours. Change it to be Contours of Velocity and ensure velocity magnitude is selected. Make sure that no surfaces are selected and click save slash display. You can then close this window. Selecting the magnifying glass, we can left click and drag to zoom into the region around the cylinder. In this plot, we can see a low velocity stagnation region in front of the cylinder as expected. As the fluid moves around the circle, it speeds up slightly on the top and the bottom. Because of flow separation, there is a large, low velocity region behind the cylinder. We can create pressure contours using the same approach. Select Contours in the Results tab and click New. In the pop-up window, name this Pressure Contours. Change it to be Contours of Pressure and ensure Static Pressure is selected. Again, ensure no surfaces are selected and click Save Slash Display and close the window. In this plot, we find a high pressure region from the stagnation points at the front with relatively lower pressure behind the cylinder. If we divide the cylinder in half along the x-axis, we see that the pressure contours are symmetrical. This means that all forces caused by integrating the pressure on the cylinder will cancel out on either side, and there is no net lift. If we instead divide the cylinder in half along the y-axis, there is no longer any symmetry. The higher pressure on the left side will cause a net force to the right. This is called form drag. The viscous forces of the fluid on the cylinder create an additional drag force as well. To view the two plots simultaneously, under Graphics in the tree, expand Contours, and right-click on Velocity Contours to select Display in New Window. This will open up the Velocity Contours in a new tab. Right click on the tab and select sub window view to view both plots on the same screen. Click and drag to move the windows and expand them so that the flow region around the cylinder is visible. You can use the middle mouse button to move the views around and the scroll wheel to adjust the zoom. Comparing the two plots, we find a high pressure and low velocity region in front of the cylinder and a low pressure and relatively high velocity region as the flow moves around the cylinder. This exchange is consistent with Bernoulli's principle. Behind the cylinder, however, the velocity is low and the pressure is low. The friction due to viscous effects as fluid moves along the cylinder is very significant because of the low Reynolds number and the flow separation. Viscous friction is neglected in Bernoulli's principle, leading to both pressure and velocity being low in this region. Bernoulli's principle is not valid behind the cylinder. To return to a single view, right-click on either window and select Tabbed View. The second window can then be closed. Click the Fit to Window button to view the whole flow domain.